Fieldwork Exercise Number 3 Area Determination of Polygonal Field Using Tape Instrument and Accessories Needed Range Pole, Measuring Tape, Plumb Line, and Markers like Chalk or Marking Pins Part A Area Determination by Base and Altitude Step 1 the instructor assigns the locations of 5 points in the field and the students will mark these points with marking pins or chalk. Name these points which will serve as the corners of the polygon as A, B, C, D, and E. Step 2. The chip of party divides the polygon into 3 triangles by taking into consideration that the divisions should be easily measured. Name the triangles as A1, a2 and A3 Step 3 Measure the base of the first triangle chosen in the polygon using tape which is 14.4 meters Step 4 Measure the length of the altitude of the first triangle To be able to solve it we can use the 345 method where we use the multiples of 3, 4 and 5 as the measurements of the side of the right triangle First, measure 30 cm on our altitude while 40 cm on our base. Next, measure the distance between the 30 cm and 40 cm measurements and there should be 50 cm. If it is not 50 cm, adjust the position of the altitude until getting 50 cm. After that, we have now a right triangle. Make sure that the altitude side coincides to the opposite vertex. The altitude of triangle a1 is 5.65 meters. Step 5. Record the length of the base and altitude on table 3.1, area determination by base and altitude. To get the area of the triangle, divide the product of the base and altitude to 2. Step 6. Repeat steps 3 to 5 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. To determine the area of the polygon, take the summation of areas of the three triangle. Since A1 has 40.68 square meters, A2 has 77.4 square meters, and A3 has 42.705 square meters, their total area or the whole area of the polygon is 160.425 square meters. For B, Area Determination by Two Sides and an Included Angle Step 1. The same field described in A, Area Determination by Base and Altitude, will be used for this method, but change the designations on the corners. For example, use F, G, H, I, and J instead of A, B, C, D, and E. Step 2. Divide the polygon into three triangles as A1, A2, and A3. Step 3. Measure any two sides of the first triangle chosen and record this measurement as sides A and B. Step 4. Determine the included angle between sides A and B and record this on table 3.2, area determination by two sides and an included angle. To get the area of the triangle 2, divide the product of side A, side B, and sine of the included angle to one half. Step 5. Repeat steps 3 to 4 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. To determine the whole area of the polygon, take the summation of areas of A1, A2, and A3. For the area of A1, it's 41.14 meters squared. For A2, 77.16 meters squared. For A3, 42.17 meters squared. The total area of the polygon is 160.73 meters squared. Part C. Area Determination by Heron's Formula 
Step 1. The same field described in A, area determination by base and altitude, will be used for this method but change the designation on the corners. Step 2. Divide the polygon into three triangles, A1, A2, and A3. Step 3. Measure all the sides of the first triangle chosen. For example, side A is 14.4 meters, B is 11.5 meters, and C 7.15 meters. Record these measurements on Table 3.3, Area Determination by Heron's Formula. Step 4. To determine the semi-perimeter of the first triangle, multiply the perimeter of the triangle by one half, which in our example equals 16.53 meters. To determine the area of the triangle, substitute the values of the semi-perimeter, side A, side B, and side C to Heron's formula, area is equal to square root of S times the quantity of S minus side A times the quantity of S minus side B times the quantity of S minus side C, which S is the semi-perimeter. It will lead to 40.76 meters squared for the given example. Step 5. Repeat steps 3 to 4 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. To determine the whole area of the polygon, take the summation of areas A1, 40.76 meters squared, A2, 76.32 meters squared, and A3, 42.99 meters squared, which is equal to 160.07 meters squared. <laughs>